Isn't it nice to wake up in such a nature? I'll do the same procedure every day. Start to make some breakfast. Then slowly tear down the tent. Put everything in my backpack. And readying myself for the next target. I'm tearing down my tent, packing up everything and it takes uh, quite a time every time. It takes me about uh, almost an hour to pack everything. But it is what it is. I, got, I don't think I can change it much. Goodbye, Lervaspu. A dwindling trail. The lake in the back is the one where I slept last night. around the ridge and see the lake of Lervaspu again. Actually this is where I came from yesterday. It looks so close and easy but it is such a tiring road because of the big blocky rocks and there's hardly 10 yards of uh, path which you can pass easily on this part. So it is taking its toll. So I'm continuing here uh, where the T's are and I guess the top is very close. It's maybe there, over there. It will go down and there should be another lake. One more lake has passed, but the next one is just ahead. There is another glacier mountain and as you can see there is another lake coming up. These lakes they are connected to each other. There is a channel, small river, which goes over to the next lake. I'm for a river crossing adventure. There is no bridge, but there's lots of water. <laughs> I cannot film during the crossing because I have to use my poles for balancing. This valley goes to Gendebu, but I'm heading to Olavsbu, and this is my trail. I have to pass. 
pass over these heights. And another lake. Rocks are falling. That's actually quite a big danger in the mountains. And look back, Kirka is sticking out in the back and it is getting very interesting. I have to cross at some point snow fields and I made a short rest here. I'm now almost three hours into my hike. Until now it was very good. The trail was of good quality, I would say. Let's see how it continues. Look at this nice lake, yet another lake. And I have to climb up probably here or the snow field to the top. There are two, there were two Norwegians in front of me to which I have talked briefly and I watched where they, which way they took and didn't, they didn't take the snow field. So I'm probably also going to try the rocks. Isn't that beautiful, this lake? Just came up over this snow field here. And this is how it continues. Look at this nice, calm ice lake almost. I hurt my leg. Just stepped over here somewhere and the stone rolled and it uh, my left feet really aches. Sitting here for a little bit now and so the aching has gone, but of course I'm not sure how well I will be able to continue. And this is one of the risks in such areas. So you are far away from civilization and so on. I carry with me a Garmin inReach, uh, where I could send an SOS signal in case I cannot continue and some maybe an helicopter comes to pick me up of course i don't know how much they would charge me for that later but in case you have a big injury that's an something i would do so i'm try to continue slowly So I have to walk slowly, but it's possible, I think. I'm continuing slowly. Look at that intense color of the moose. This is the way to Olaf's pool. I came slowly down this valley it 
took me almost two hours to limp down this valley. I'm so happy that uh, it's over. Had to hike up again. And now I see already in front of me the buildings of Olaf Bu. That's refreshing. I made it here. Thanks God I reached Olaf's Bu. I'm very happy. My leg doesn't ache much, but I must be very careful when walking. This is actually my target for today, but I I'm contemplating to continue a little bit more because maybe tomorrow my feet swells and then I cannot continue. Look at this interesting mountain. It's like a mini Matterhorn. Olaf's pool. With its private lake. And there is even a bridge. I think I have first to look on my map to orient myself. Love Spoo in the distance and here is our next lake and I am planning to camp somewhere here even though it doesn't look to be very it's quite stony. Here is a green area maybe I'll go on that side. And tomorrow I should pass these uh, heights uh, in front of us. Found a tiny spot. There is a small creek. And here there are no stones and it looks to be quite level for my tiny tent. So I'm going to set up here. And cook something and relax. Enjoy the view of the lake if I have time before sleeping. I accidentally demonstrated me again the risks of mountains today. Actually the accident happened when my left trekking pole collapsed partially just when I was stepping down a big rock and this uh, caused the twisting of my ankle. My foot doesn't ache as much anymore but it's very sensitive, I must not to put any stress on it. Initially it took very long to walk. I had to balance myself uh, with the trekking poles and always put my right foot first and track the left one later behind. But uh, after an half an hour or so it became better. Nevertheless, uh, I don't know how my foot will feel tomorrow and I don't know if I can continue actually today this was the shortest leg which should take me only five to six hours but in the end it took me eight hours and tomorrow I have a pretty long leg until Eidsburg Garden and uh, we'll see if I can do it uh, if I cannot at least uh, Olaf's Spoo is not far, far away and I could go there and ask for some help. Every evening there is a quite similar procedure, first setting up the tent, then fetching water and boiling it, uh, preparing the meal and putting the things inside the tent. 
and then maybe a little bit relaxing and enjoying the, the view. I really enjoy very much hiking in Norway uh, because it gives you this big uh, freedom which uh, you don't have in many countries anymore, at least not in Central Europe where in most places they don't allow you to pitch up a tent and you can run into quite big trouble in my home country in Austria for example in certain states it is uh, there are big penalties if you do if you set up your tent uh, so here you can still enjoy the nature and that's why I prefer the hikes here in, in the north also a very pristine, a very nice nature, which also is not um, something common these days. Mmm, it already smells delicious. But you know what? When you have work, hiked seven or eight hours, without eating much, you would be happy with almost any meal. <laughs> but look at my view. Isn't it unbelievable beautiful?